this video, I will guide you through the main calculation of the classical lot drawing of a matrix, providing a step-by-step -step example by hand. Additionally, there will be a separate tutorial using the Casio FX115ES calculator, allowing you to choose the method that suits your preferences. So let's begin. Here is the example. Find the classical adjoint of the following matrix. First, we need to find the cofactor of each minor element. So the cofactor of the element in position 1, 1 is obtained by eliminating the first row and the first column, and then by finding the determinant of the remaining matrix. One more thing, the cofactor is preceded by plus or minus sign depending whether the element is in a plus or a minus position. Please watch my other video named cofactor of a matrix by hand for more details into this. So now let's begin. We have element A11, which means we are eliminating first row and first column, and we have left with 4, 5, 0, 6. Now we need to solve the determinant. 4 by 6 is 24, minus 0 equals to 24. Next element is A12. For this one, we are eliminating row number 1 and column number 2. This element is preceded with the minus sign, so we have minus 0, 5, 1, 6. So we have minus 0 by 6 is 0, minus 5, this equals to 5. Next element is A13. For A13, we are eliminating row number 1 and column number 3. So we have left with 0, 4, 1, 0. To solve the determinant, we have 0 by 0 is 0, minus 4 equals to minus 4. Now for the second section, we have A21 or A21. For this one, we are for this element, we are eliminating row number 2 and column number 1, so we have left with 2, 3, 0, 6, but we have to be, uh, to be aware that there is a minus sign here at the front. So we have minus 2 by 6 is 12, minus 0, this element is equal to minus 12. Element A22. We are eliminating row number 2 and column number 2. So we have left with 1, 3, 1, 6. So we have 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. The third one of this series is A to 3. A to 3 starts with the minus sign. So we are eliminating row number 2 and column number 3. So we have 1, 2, 1, 0. This one is equal to minus 0, minus 2. So 8, 23 is equal to 2. Now, for the last section, for the last element, for the last three elements, we have A, 31, so for this one, we are eliminating row number 3 and column number 1. So we have 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we need to solve the determinant. 2 by 5 is 10, minus 12. This one is equal to minus 2. A32 element starts with the minus sign. And we are eliminating row number 3 and column number 2. So we have left with 1, 3, 0, 5. So we have minus 5, minus 0. This element is equal to minus 5. And the last one is 8 through 33. For this element, we are eliminating row number 3 and column number 3. And we have left with 1, 2, 0, 4. And this one equals to 1 by 4 is 4, minus 0 equals to 4. 
Now, as a result of this, the cofactor matrix of A is going to be these results in a matrix form. So we have A cofactor is equal to 24, 5, minus 4, minus 12, 3, 2, minus 2, minus 5, and 4. Now, this is not the end. At the end, we need the adjoint of A, and it is the transpose of the cofactor matrix. So, the adjoint of A is the transpose of this matrix. A transpose of a matrix is a matrix which is formed by turning all the rows of a given matrix into columns or vice versa. So, here we have 24 minus 2, minus 12, minus 2, 5, 3, minus 5, minus 4, 2, and 4. This is it. Now please go and watch my other video for this by using the Casio FX115ES calculator. Thanks for watching.